Når man bygger sådan et hus alere, så har man uh, When you build a clay brick house, you have to make sure that you have an overhanging roof. As you can see here, we have quite a large one. This protects the outer walls from the rain. Som vi her, der har vi en en lille betonrundgang, som lige beskytter You also have to make sure that there is a cement base to protect lower clay bricks. This should provide enough protection from the weather conditions they have here as their rainy seasons can be quite harsh. I would like to show you the windows. To ensure that the bricks stay in place, one has to put this on top so it supports the wall. Just to show another solution, we have here both light and ventilation. Here there is no need for extra support. We will have to attach a net here so mosquitoes and other insects can't fly in. This is the area where we got the raw materials. So this is part, this is the clay that we use in molding the bricks. And after sieving this, we use that to plaster and render the building. This is the clay brick, which was molded from the clay over there, and which was used to put up this clinic, this building clinic. We are at a rural village area in Western Africa where the first clay brick house has been built with the help of Danish know-how. The house is in a poor village in Western Ghana. It took approximately four weeks to build this house and it's going to be used as a clinic in connection with the school. It will help to save life because you know how the, this is a rural community um, and, and the children, there's no clinic here per se and the nurse come and stay. He or she will be here every day with the children and if there's any uh, problem, she can help save the life of the children because she will be here to give treatment, give advice, and help the children to be healthy. And therefore, when she does do those things, the child will be healthy. It's really exciting being here today, where you can see that the first house has been completed and also demonstrated that it's possible to build a house with clay bricks and with the desired quality too. It's also really good that this has formed a basis for the youth of the villages to receive an education where before there would have been no chance of employment or jobs. Our hope is that we can contribute to the building and financing with a microcredit system so they can get cheap, affordable and healthier houses. In the beginning, we will start with zero interest rates, but as this increases, we will have to have our expenditures recovered, but only that. Our dream is, however, that this will spread throughout Ghana. It is possible to build clay brick housing in the majority of African countries. With the assistance of this machine, the Danish company FOEB has produced. For example, the Geological Institute in Accra, Ghana, has informed us that the clay content of the Ghanaian soil is 80%. The clay brick machine can produce 180 bricks an hour, and it would only take three days to produce bricks for such a house. The machine presses the clay bricks with the help of hydraulic pressure. As the machine is on wheels, it can easily be transported to another building site and continue its production. Ghana has tremendous need for housing. Um, currently, the statistics show that we are in deficit of over 700,000 houses. So these new houses is ecologically friendly.
because it is using the earth. Uh, we have trained people in the communities already so they can assist with the technical know-how and then the, the houses are built. So in that sense, it is affordable. We can also take this project outside of Ghana uh, to the neighboring countries because most of them in the rural areas are just like Ghana. The machines, if it could be built here, hallelujah. But if it cannot be built here and it is brought here, then it should be affordable because this type of building uh, could be made for those of us in the hinterland where money is difficult, very difficult to come by. Yeah. We are now inside the house and the floor is especially important with clay brick building. Instead of using the usual concrete here, we spread soil over and stamp it down, as you can see. If we take a look into the other room, you will see that another layer has been moistened, allowing it to work like concrete. So by using the natural sources found in this area, we can have the perfect floor. The African contact to Denmark is Anna Sakwa, who has been a resident of Denmark for 29 years. She comes from the area of Apraponzo and Bomba and is actually their chieftain. The opening day of the clinic was indeed a proud one for her. This feels so incredibly good as I have dreamt about this for such a long time and then suddenly it has become a reality. I'm very, very happy. We have proven that we can build a house with clay bricks that looks really wonderful. I can't explain it in any other way than I am so happy that this could actually take place. I have also proven to myself that things can be achieved if you work hard enough. My cooperation partners have really been there for me and supported me. If it hadn't been for them, there would be no machine today. They have even used money from their own pockets because they also believed in the idea. They made sure that this would happen. The project grant committee has also given a grant and I am really grateful for their support too. And I hope they will continue to support us in future.